Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court. Uh, for the Hells Angels, or affiliated to some degree, or maybe one himself. Uh, we have an informant into it uh, for a meth lab. He says that he was up there. There was about seven people up there, mostly biker types and a couple females. They're being real secretive, not letting anybody in or out of the place. Um, we don't know what status the lab's going to be at. It's either going to be bubbling when we get there, or it's going to be probably boxed. Okay, we'll meet out front. As you're going to these warrants here, we always we talk about it because we always get the butterflies in our stomach and the knots, and we're wondering, you know, did I did I assign everybody the right assignment? Um, are these guys going to have weapons? Are the dogs going to be out? Is the dope going to be there? Going to be there? Is these people going to be moved out all of a sudden? Is nobody going to be there? We're here. We're here. We're 97. We're in it. Good. Good. Get out of the way, dog. Sheriff's Department, search warrant, demand entry! He's out Two, there. Two, three, He's four. out the back. Go He's going out the back. Clear. Get your hands in the air. Hands in the air. Come with me. Come with me, brother. Sheriff's Department, search warrant, demand entry! Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Sheriff's Department, search warrant. Yeah. Under the bed. Under the bed. Go. All right. Somebody's outside now. And we got someone outside yeah. still? Be quiet, put your head down. Put your hands in the small of your back. What? You guys going somewhere? I just, all I did was see these guys go out the back. I was following them. I didn't know what they were doing. Who lives here? Is the house secure? Yeah. Friend of mine named Sean. I went to school with the guy. I don't Where'd know. Where'd he go? I don't know. He boogie out the back door with you? I was wondering what he was doing coming out here. Is that right? Yeah. What's your name again there? Shannon. Okay, Shannon, why don't you roll over for me here? Throw your leg underneath. What do you got on you? I'll help you out. Uh, nothing. Why'd you run? You got any huh? drugs or Why'd you run? Why'd you run? Well, I was How following him. You were following him on foot, huh? 20? You don't look 20. I'm 20. 19. Do you care if I look in your pockets? No. There's a pipe in your pocket, you said? Yeah. I know. I was wondering what was going Drummer, on. Drummer, huh? Did you hate when that happens? Yeah, man. What? Copy out of beat. Definitely be methamphetamine that was freshly cooked. It's going to be a chemical dump. It looks like they're drying it out. Yeah. Five and... Oh, they, they tried to ground the serial numbers off there. Oh, here's another felony. Always find the guns with dope people. They like that. Condenser. Which goes on the, on the uh, glass, but not to that one. These are uh, ephedrine pills here, I believe, and they're the first step in the manufacturing of methamphetamine. The old famous. This is going to be a, uh, what kind of gun would this be here? Grease gun? Like grease gun. It's like a grease gun. Not for your car either. Just lay your head on my shoulder, baby. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Two coming in. Turn your head back. Is it searched? Right there on the couch. Yeah, been searched. Okay, hold on right there. Okay. Where do you live at? Your parents' home? Yeah, I believe so. Turn your head back again. That's that. Here, let's go outside, Denise. Come here. Who you come with? My father. Your who? My father. Your father? Who's your dad? My dad. Is this your, your daughter? Your stepfather? 
Okay, she'll be okay. I'm gonna talk to her for a minute, okay? You ever been arrested before? No. When did you use your speed last? Speed? Don't lie to me. Yeah. You can test me. I haven't used know. any speed. You no. got a control officer. Are you? Sure, well, you're in the arrest for being on a defense controlled substance, okay? If you're 16 years old, you don't need to be using speed. I haven't done nothing. I've... How many days? It's been weeks, months. No. Your eyeballs are, your pupils are huge. I'm, I'm scared to. No, it doesn't okay. do your pupils that way. I'm sorry. I... You want to stick to that story? Okay, well, I'll be honest. I never, I haven't done no speed, but I did smoke weed. But not today or, you know, but. Okay. But I'm just, you know. Okay, well, we're going to get your test because everything else looks like you did. Like I've been doing. Yeah. Okay. But don't, don't cry about it. You'll be out in a couple hours, and then if your urine comes back okay, then you don't have nothing to worry about. Comes back dirty, well, you got the problem. Uh, Can I take me to Mama here. Steve. I told you, you play with a rattlesnake, you'd get bit, didn't I? Um, not right now. Oh, Daniel. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Why don't you go wait outside? You're her mother? Yeah. Okay, here's the deal, okay? We, uh, this is a site that a clandestine lab's been going on, methamphetamine, production of methamphetamine up here. Um, she Sean. looks like she may be under the influence and be using speed, okay? You're kidding. No, okay? She's not going to go to jail. I, Wait, you want to take her? No, we don't want to take her. You need to tighten the reins down on her and find out where she's going, don't let her out and things like that. If she's going to come up to places like this, she doesn't need to be up here. You don't want to, I wouldn't you okay. take her for a night? Because they won't take her for a night. If they took her for a night, they'd bill you for it. I don't care. How much does it cost? Well, they won't take her for being under the influence, okay? Right. It's just a fact of life. Maybe I'll scare the crap out of her. You don't no. want to come up here. we got automatic weapons and clandestine yeah. labs and everything else up here, okay? Okay. Do you Keep her away from me. No. Is that her boyfriend? No. But we know who he is. Do you, could you ID him in the picture? Yes. <laughs> this one here, too? This one right here. Okay, great. You weren't listening to me. Daniel, I'm listening. You told me. I you took him up to the store. I don't care. Are you? I told you. We ended up with uh, five people going to jail, uh, three females, two males, and the juvenile. We released her mom. Uh, about 35 hours work, but we're done. Yeah, for now. We're doing for now. Yes, uh, we have a lady who has been shot in her uh, living room. She's been shot? Yes. We don't know how long she's been there. Is she alive? Do you know if she's alive? They don't think she is. What is the, what is the person's name who's crying? What's your name? Kathy. And who is it? Is your mother? Yes. Does she have any idea who did it? No. What do we got going on so far? DOA. Any suspect info? Hey, don't know yet. You got four DOA? <laughs> two bodies? Uh, we got two DOA so far. Uh, unknown about a suspect yet. We'll wait until. Uh, Who are these people that reported it? Uh, I don't know. I just got here. I'm All waiting right. to find out what, uh, what uh, 22 found out. Who are the people who reported it? Who are the people that reported it? Daughter and uh, the son in law. Okay, tell them what's the source on this. We get inside the house, you know. Parents, these folks here, the, I guess the daughter, they're. Um, they don't know what's going on. They, say, they said somebody's been shot. So we get inside. Mom's laying on the um, living room floor on her, on her back. She's been shot to the head. Check the rest of the house. It's that secure. And in the bedroom, uh, the old man's on his stomach, uh, face down. Uh, and his hands are tied behind his back with tape. So I don't know if he's you know, been shot to the head or not. I, Any relatives? We have nothing right now. I mean, I think these are the only folks right here. 
Excuse me, sir. Does anybody else live here with the parents? Just, just, just them two? Anybody staying with them? Uh, no, not that I know. Uh, apparently, the guy sat next door that uh, the father, Carlos's father, was here to load some wood. But I don't know if he saw anything. And I don't know if the driver of that truck worked today. They've got a driver for that truck. And I don't know if he worked, if he worked today or not or if he was here. They have a driver that works for him? They have a driver that does work for him. I, I don't know. No, I well, we called this morning. We called this morning. I was going to come over, over and over. we got delayed and we just now getting over here because I left a message on the machine and there was, there was no answer. No. What time? What time? Uh, uh, just uh, about 20 minutes ago. And why are you here? Um, I just we'll get, actually we came over to borrow the chainsaw from my father. Oh. Okay. And what happened? And what um, I. I came in, I, we started to come in the front, we knocked on the door and there was no answer and I looked to see if the door was unlocked because I thought maybe they were out back and the door was unlocked. So I just opened it just the a little door? bit. The front door? The front door is unlocked. Okay. And then I just pulled it back and we, uh -huh. we walked around the back because I heard the dogs barking. So we walked around at the back. I walked through the gate and I saw the dog door was down and the screen door was off track and I saw Carla laying there. I went around her, I tried to, I tried, I tried to use the phone. I couldn't get the phone to work. So we just ran next door. Does, uh, okay. Uh, is you still your mother? And it's my stepmother. Your stepmother. Okay. Do you need to sit down anywhere? That's your car right here? Yeah. It's the Toyota's mom. When you guys pulled up, did you see anything else around? No. Nothing else in the Nothing out of the ordinary. We couldn't figure out where they were because, you know, okay. all the, the cars, cars were here. Were there. We called them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I thought maybe they were out back. Because, you know, they've got a pool table back. All right. Um, just, just hang, you know, hang tough. Sorry. Do you know anything about my father? They found him. Yeah. He was shot. He was shot. No. He's dead. Uh, what happened? I, I don't. I, I really don't think please. you. I don't really please. don't think you need to please. know. Please, I have to. He's found in the bedroom on the floor with his hands tied behind his back. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Do we have anything yet? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Mom and Dad, you know, no problems they've been broken into in the past. And uh, they get here, they find the door unlocked, they go to the back, see that the dog door is, is down, the screen off the track, and she finds her, the, her stepmother. Yeah, <laughs> Right at this time, you know, there's, we don't have no reason why these people should be dead, you know, they're working people. At this time, you know, one's tied up, shot in the back of the head, or in the head area, we, there's really no reason for this to happen. Three, we'll, we'll start uh, a walkthrough. That's what I need to find out of what they went, where they went through, if they moved anything or touched anything, okay? We got word that the uh, back door was what the entry, possible entry point was. And once get in, then start processing, see what we have inside there. And that's basically where we, we start at. We'll probably be out here all night long. Yeah, we're going to do a walkthrough of what the deputies already have done. Or, you know, walk through. Mm -hmm. So they can explain where they touched, what they saw, you know. How long were they in here? We've got all kinds of expensive stuff. She's got her rings on, her necklaces, that little TV there. So I don't know if we're looking at robbery or not at this point. It's looking real slim. Yeah. Anyways, the, uh, the other body is in this room here. Oh, it's in that room there? Yeah, okay. I'm just showing you this is where we went. This is the path that we took. 
gonna wipe them down before you put them back in there. Looks like he's got a head wound too. Yeah. Bleeder. I wonder if this is our roll of tape right here. What they were taping him with? Yeah. This. Uh, is it we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll try and get prints yeah. off of that. We'll try and get a print off of that. It's definitely a murder. Would you say so, Parker? You just go from there and see what we can find out. We'll start interviewing people, and, and uh, this is the way they start. Hopefully a month from now we'll have somebody in custody. Kathy, why don't you, what's your name? Marcus. Marcus? Well, we just climb in my uh, in my car and we'll go off down to the station. Okay. Your decision, you Bubba. You know how to get there, Bill? Yeah, I'll see you down there. My car's right over there. I've just got a clearance to let another vehicle enter the murder scene. At this time, I believe it's a coroner investigator. Yeah, well, what we're going to be doing is taking a liver temperature. And what that does is kind of tells us by a degree drop in the liver temperature as to how long the person has been dead. We have a liver temperature of 62 degrees, so it's uh, been probably 12 to 18 hours. Rigor mortis is full, the body's totally stiff. You see on the side of the refrigerator here, you've got yeah. blood splattering, yeah. but we've also got a black powder. And that's would be residue from the uh, the you know shot or the. That's Are powder. we sure that's powder? That's the whole thing. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Could could it be a possibility? Someone's knocking at the back door. She comes to answer it. They knock her down. Shoot her. But why? You know, if they're going to shoot her. Then why why not just shoot him in the bed? Why waste time? Tying him up and stuff. Huh? Yeah, and, uh, well, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, if she got it first and then they. Huh? Just touch the message button with your knuckle. Right here? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay. From the front. It's not from the rear then. I, I don't think so. I mean, I'm just saying I don't think so because it's it's starting it's starting to give that stallone effect, almost like a contact wound, right there, Fred. And I think they have to be really close. Yeah. Here too. Oh, I, I agree. When we checked the uh, male victim, uh, we found that he had an exit wound on the right side of his head, and right now she's. Mary Ann's digging around. Uh, it looks like the round went down through the box there and into the down through the carpet. And that's what you're going to dig up is the car dig the carpet up there. Okay, this is the uh, bullet that we uh, finally got up from underneath. The, it uh, went through the mail from the uh, left side of his uh, neck and then out the uh, right side of his head. It appears to be a small caliber bullet, so not a uh, shotgun that we originally thought it was. And your length between the uh, camper. Now we have to find the gun that goes to the bullet. Yeah, Bob. The more I look at this, I don't think it's a gun shot. You don't think it is now, huh? Okay. Well, just looking, looking at everything. Okay. I don't think it's a gun shot. At this point, we're still wondering what could cause the injuries to uh, what we've seen on the female victim. Uh, some there's 
just uh, now some could say that it, it could be a blunt force trauma too from what the coroner is saying well, hitting the forehead we're working these things uh, usually when we're doing the scenes here like like tonight we've been here 12 13 14 hours during that 12 or 13 or 14 hours we've come up with two dozen theories as to what happened and you might know not ever find out the correct one but a lot of times one of those theories is, is what actually happened